In this video, I'm showing you how to download Google Chrome on Mac and then go and install it as well. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and hit that subscribe button. And once you have subscribed as well, please go and leave a like. I really do appreciate it. So within this tutorial, I'm showing you the full process of getting Google Chrome and it's all simplified within this video. So any further ado, let's go and check this out. I'm now on my Mac and let's go and continue with this tutorial. So once you're on the Mac, you want to make sure you've already got a search browser. So at the minute, I'm personally using Safari, but you may be using another type of search browser. So I'm going to go and open up Google widget on Safari. And then all I'm going to do is simply search for Chrome. Now, but do keep watching as I'm showing you the full install process as well. So that's really key. So what you want to do is come to Google and simply search Google Chrome, just like so. Wait for it to load. And as you can see, you want to make sure you come down to Google.com. Google Chrome, click there and it's going to take a minute to load to the Google Chrome website. Now as you can see it's going to identify you on a Mac which is really useful. So then all you want to do is of course simply go and click download Chrome for Mac OS X 10.11 or later. So therefore if your Mac is an older version you're going to make sure you need to update your Mac for it to run. Um, so make sure you go and update your Mac to the latest version. So what I do is click download Chrome and it's going to take a minute. And as you can see, you then need to go and choose which one you want. So the newer Macs have the Apple chip, whereas mine just has the Intel chip. And to check that, you click on the Apple icon and click about this Mac. And it will take a minute to open, but then it's going to tell you your processor basically. So as you can see, an Intel Core i5, which is Intel, um, but you may have the Apple M chip. So yeah, I'm on the Intel chip. So I'm going to click on Intel chip and then go and click on it again. And as you can see, you're then going to go and get this pop saying, do you want to allow download? So I'm going to click allow and boom, it starts to download. So the download folder is up here. And as you can see, this is about 170 megabytes. So you've got to wait for this. Um, and this is going to depend on your internet speed. So we'll wait for this. Um, and then we'll go and continue with this tutorial. So it's now finished and you can either find your downloads by clicking up here or you're going to have a downloads folder in your dock or you can go and open up your finder and go to the downloads folder. All are valid ways to go and find the download. So then once you've gone and found it, you want to simply double click on it or single click. Um, I double click personally and then it's going to have this opening this DMG file and it's just verifying it um, and this process will take a bit of time. You can skip it but I always just try and let it run through um, and just let it do its own thing. So I'll wait a minute and catch up with you then. It's now finishing as you can see and it just disappeared. So once it does that it's then going to bring up this actual installer once it's gone and verified it. So then as you can see all it wants you to do is drag your Google Chrome into your applications folder so I'm going to do that right that and you get the little plus icon and then it's going to go and drag it into there. As you can see, it's now copying it across. So once that box is now gone, you can go and close this installer up here and then you can go and click on Finder. So click on Finder and then all you want to do is come up to Applications and then you want to scroll down till you find Chrome. So it's going to be under Google Chrome. So as you can see, Google Chrome just there, then double tap on it. And as you can see, it's now opening up for the first time down here. I'll close off my applications and we'll just wait for a minute. It's going to take a minute to open this the first time. As you can see, it's just verifying it here. I'll put that in the middle. So wait for it to verify and then we'll go and continue with the next step. This should only take, literally take a few seconds. And then you're going to get this pop up here saying Google Chrome is an app downloaded from the internet. You should want to open it. Click open and it's going to then open up again. And then it goes and open up Google Chrome just like that and you're ready to use it. I've just gone and signed in. It's really easy and it's remembered everything I've set up on my Chrome account before. So if this video has helped you out, please go down below and leave a like. Subscribe for more. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.